Hello friends, today let us discuss about geometry, how it might have begun, what are the applications of geometry in ancient years. I know Mahesh is cribbing, he says he dislikes geometry, it is all abstract and dry, the points, line and plane, what not, then there is a triangle, have I seen a proper triangle around, the answer is no. <laughs> Yes, I understand Mahesh, that is why we will watch a video, jungle travel. Please take a mental note of how many different shapes are there. Can you see a triangular object or many objects that remind you of a triangle? Can you find a cylinder or cone? I am sure lines are abundant. I am sure many shapes that look like quadrilateral also you will observe. Beak tip and we saw lines or linear shapes like edges of beaks of the birds, edges of twigs and trunks, side of bushes, stem of flower, the strings of swings, angular objects, two twigs meeting, nose of boys, petals, rabbit, ear tip, triangles, feathers, shapes made by the gaps in the bushes, beaks of birds, quadrilaterals, trunk, shapes on peacock feather, cylinder, trunks, rabbit neck, student's hands, cone, beaks of birds and sphere apples, so on, on and on. Is Mahesh happy? Does not he feel geometry is study of concrete things? There is one doubt still. The point has no length or breadth. Actual point is pointless, but there are points in the nature. Their dimensions are minute, very, very small. What is more is we can feel and understand that every edge of twig, outline of a leaf, the surface of an apple is formed by such points. The linear objects in nature are like a line as defined in geometry, but the property of that edge is very much similar to a line. This is the trick. One of the greatest leap by mankind. The shapes were classified. Some very basic objects were identified with which we can make any shape. If you see the raindrops falling, they are spherical and if wind is not there, they fall in a straight line. The trail of an ant is straight for a small distance. The barks of tree are two adjacent fingers. The tips of a leaf all make an angle. Mahesh is now happy. Yes, Mahesh. You have not seen a line with only one dimension and no breadth in nature, but that concept of line has emerged from these nice objects around us. The essential property of these sides of objects can be described by a single or many lines. Similarly, ground is a plane, we draw lines trying to make a hole by first piercing it at a point. When you lie down on the ground, the line from your leg through your head also lies in the plane. Don't you remember how we started drawing pictures? Draw a point, then a few lines, slowly you drew a cap, a sweet toffee you like the most. This is how the abstraction has helped. This looks like a game, approximating the shapes in nature by using very few objects. Yes, it is. However, the subject of geometry was studied to solve practical problems. On the banks of Nile, geometry and calculation of area became very important. Nile is a wide and long river. In every rainy season, Nile flooded the lands on its banks. The adjacent area was submerged. There were farmers whose farms got submerged. The marking dividing the farms were wiped off. Now, there was no demarcation of the farms. So every year the area of a farm was measured and next year the farm of same area was marked and given to the farmer for cultivation. Thus a method to measure a land or earth was developed. This method is one of the early application of geometry. The word geometry itself is formed from metri that is measuring, geo that is earth. In India for yadnya or building houses the precisely drawn figures were required. Thus, drawing a quadrilateral whose sides are in a given proportion was practiced. Naturally, geometry was developed. Hey Mahesh, why are you quiet? Mahesh answered, Sir, I am looking around. 
imagining that I am various places and noting down different shapes. And sir, on this Sunday, I will approximate them with my friends, points, lines, planes, triangle, quadrilaterals, circles and so on. Okay sir, said Mahesh. That is, you will study geometry and want to enjoy the process. That is the fun of geometry.